Hey guys, Joe Fish here, and I've got Barrel and Blade. Alright guys, I've got Barrel and Blade level 1, so let's bust into this and see what we got. I don't remember what the spoiler was, so I can't remember the theme, so this is going to become somewhat of a uh, surprise. Alright, so open up the box, this is what we're going to see. Alright, looks like a lot of items in this month's box, always awesome. As always, I get level one, um, which is like, I guess they just revamped their website, and this is now the beginner, and this is the elite level. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with how Barrel and Blade works, they are a subscription box company that um, bills you monthly and sends you boxes monthly, um, depending on the level that you get. Level one, usually you get about double your uh, value, but... Uh, the difference between level 1 and level 2 is level 2 often has many of the same items as level 1 with the addition of a couple. Uh, however, this particular company, Barrel and Blade, is a little bit different is in that um, between the two levels, sometimes you can have the same amount of items but all upgraded versions of level 1. Sometimes, like I said, you get all of level 1 with addition of a couple different items. Sometimes you get um, completely different items. In level two then level one but along the same theme so if it was like uh, for instance we had one I don't know some time ago that had a hydration pack uh, that I actually like better from the level one the level two came with a very high-end uh, camel pack all right kids we're getting in the stuff I'm back um, so what we're gonna do is uh, like I said that camel pack was like a $200 value camel pack. Uh, the price you pay for level one is about $54, and level two is like $103 or something like that, and, and that's after shipping. Um, they ship usually around the first of the month, this being the fifth or the sixth. So if you get it early in the month, you're billed on the 20th. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the lowest valued item in this month's box, which is. The UCO Stormproof Match Kit. Also, this is Operation Survive and Stay Alive. So that's cool. Uh, so we've seen these before. I believe. Comes in this nice waterproof container. High-vis orange. A little bit of cotton there. We'll go ahead and put that back in the lid. striker right there on the package so that is pretty awesome definitely gonna go in the uh, camping slash bug out bag 25 matches that comes with a value of $6.99 let's see if I can find the burn time on these uh, let's see here the waterproof case three replaceable strikers 25 matches that are windproof waterproof and burn up to 15 seconds so you got 15 seconds there which should be in long enough that you could Lamp, light, damp, tinder. So there we go. First item up. And second item in the box, we are going to go with the Survival Frog Survival Tips playing cards. Um, so let's try and find those. Would you survive if? So these are pretty cool. They'd definitely be neat to pull it and bust out at the uh, camp. Never gonna stop you. I bet if I tried real hard, I could. No, no. Uh, yeah. So let's just go ahead. Yeah, yeah. We are the bravest. Surviving yeah, airplane yeah, crash. Yeah. Surviving yeah, carjacking. Yeah. Huh? Survive being stabbed. No, no, no. Surviving a tsunami. Dog attack. So every card is a different survival. <laughs> a zombie apocalypse is a different survival tip, uh, small story, that type of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Definitely would make playing cards a little bit difficult because I would spend more time reading these. 
Is that anything? Turn the light on, please. So as awesome as these are, it would be a little bit distracting to try and play a game of cards, but pretty neat item, definitely a conversation piece to break out at camp or just around the table, play a little solitaire. It would be the longest game of solitaire ever because I would read every single card I flipped over, but pretty awesome little item in the box. Uh, next up we have... Aquamira water filtration straw. So there we go. I finally got a survival straw. Um, let's see here. 50 gallons made in the USA. The kids are acting like wild animals today. There's some more specs on that. So definitely awesome. Super glad to have this. Great item. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging right now because I want to leave it leave it just like this. And they are giving that a $11.99 value. So I've been waiting for one of those forever and a half. Super glad to have one. Uh, let's see here. So the next item up on deck is the Survival Frog Paracord Grenade Survival Kit. That is this. I will open this up. Might use this item as a giveaway. I don't know. I mean, they are cool looking. Be fun to hang off. You know, look, 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 look me hanging off the uh, gear. I might hang it for my mirror because it looks cool. I don't know. But this consists of a scalpel blade, a ring knife, ferro rod, two swivels, two weights, tin foil, cotton tinder, fishing hooks, and it looks like two liter lines, some fishing line, and some floats. If you want to check them out, guys, go ahead and check out survivalfrog.com. That's their card. Prepping made easy. So, not a bad item. Again, I mean, once I'm not going to unravel this because there's no going to, there's just not going to be any getting it back together. Those are the items. Like I said, it might be a giveaway item. It might be, you know, something neat to put in the tackle box or throw in the truck or you know, attach to the bug out bag. I don't know yet. We'll see where it lands. But they are giving that a twelve dollar and forty four cent value, which is kind of an odd number for the forty four cents, but it is what it is. Um, next up, we have. The Luminade Pack Light Nova valued at $24.99. And this is pretty cool. I'm thinking they've sent this before, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, basically what it is is a small lantern that packs flat. Solar charged. It does come with a uh, charging cable. USB. 75 lumens. Instructions for use. Pretty simple. Charge outside in direct sunlight for at least 10 hours. Charge by micro USB input for 1 to 2 hours. Red LED indicates batteries charging. Inflate using air valve. Valve allows partial airflow for easier inflation and deflation. Press the uh, button to cycle through the lighting modes. And press the battery button to see how much charge is left. This has 75 lumens, like I said, recharges in 10 hours in the, of sun, so all day long, will last all night long. Uh, it will also be rechargeable by a micro USB in about two hours, so would couple great with my hybrid light lantern. One can charge the other while charging itself, and it's just a green energy thing. I bought a couple different uh, hybrid light combos. Um, let's see here, it's got a 24 hour max runtime on low setting so on low it'll run 24 hours unless you're in a cave or traversing some caverns I don't think you would need 24 hours of light but he might who knows you know it's also good that it'll last 24 hours because you know it's at nighttime you kind of nod off it's on low setting you fall asleep you wake up it's not completely dead um, it'll, it'll you can you know make sure you start charging it right away um, two years of storage life 
five brightness settings, and 125 square foot lighting area. Um, tip, windows block light. Charge outside for optimal charging. So outside in the open sun, not in a windowsill. Um, but there you go, guys. That's a pretty awesome little item. Be great for camping. Small, compact design. I might actually put this in the glove box in case I need it. Um, in the process of trying to get my truck put together for emergency situations, that patch that I got from Suppressor Straps is going to be a great addition to my visor. Um, I do have the tactical visor that we got from Barrel and Blade, so I'm going to be able to stick that there and add a little bit more to my already um, growing uh, bug out supply in the vehicle. So there we go, there's that. Pretty awesome item. Let's see here. Next up is the Apica Emergency Solar Hand Crank AM FM NOAA radio valued at $29.99. And that's pretty cool. I don't have a solar or hand crank, but I'm definitely building up a lot of my solar items. This is another great one that would be great for, you know, putting in a tub for a bug out tub. Uh, something I'm going to get together. So what I'm doing is currently trying to slim down my bug out bag so it's a little bit more, less cumbersome and a little bit more easily available. And I'm going to be putting together a bug out uh, tote, meaning a tote that I can grab and throw the whole thing in my truck and be ready to go right now out the door. Um, and, and it'll allow me to take out and customize my loadout for the weather, type of weather I'm going to get, meaning, you know, season and weather conditions, meaning if it's spring, I might pack a little bit more of dry essential stuff, uh, bug stuff. If it's in the fall, I might pack some more drier, you know, just stay dry stuff, but a little bit warmer stay dry stuff you know, wool socks, that type of stuff in, in the emergent case. You know, and it's going to let me evolve throughout um, throughout the changing seasons to be able to take items out, replace them with more items that would make more sense. Um, so I'm in the process of that, and I will get that, make a video of that here shortly. Um, but I also wanted to be able to make up four small packs, you know, one for myself, one for my wife, one for my two children. So that way in a bug out situation, I can, you know, make sure everybody has their bag, grab the tote, throw the tote, we're good to go. And, and if we have to abandon vehicle, you know what I mean, we can load up from the tote, leave the non-essential items behind, and if we have to hoof it by foot, we can. Uh, and each person would be responsible for their particular workload. Um, so this is an awesome item to have to go into that tote to have ready and available when need be. Hand crank power, solar powered, it has the weather band so that's awesome. Um, three, three LED flashlights, a mobile phone charging so that's cool. Um, you never have to worry about you know your battery dying. However I have more of an issue with cell phone service than I would be with my phone dying. Um, and it's for the outdoors. So that's pretty cool. However, it is made in China, but you know, try and find an item that isn't nowadays. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Built in lithium polymer rechargeable batteries, three way power, hand crank solar USB, uh, multi band tuner, including sever seven weather NOAA channels, emergency power for handheld digital services or devices, and powerful three LED flashlights. So basically, the total package looks like it's going to be pretty much easy. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to open it up on the packaging or not because sometimes it's difficult to get back in. I don't know why I'm worried about it. I'm going to keep this item. This one isn't going to be a giveaway. But uh, here we go. I don't know if that's supposed to click or not. Let's try and... Crank her up. So it is, a, I mean, just that 30 seconds of cranking it. Uh, let's see here. 
cycle through the different stations. And it died. But, you know, like I said, that was only 30 seconds of cranking. No charging. So, but there we go, guys. So let me just go ahead and try and put this back together real quick. And we will recap this month's box. Um, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and take a look at level two. If you're a subscriber to level two, you're going to get the hand crank radio, the filtration straw, the paracord grenade survival kit, the survival playing cards, the stormproof match kit, and the pack light. You're only going to get the addition of the Victorinix Trekker, which is valued at $65. Um, it's a Swiss made pocket knife, so you're going to get a blade, uh, you're going to get a blade in the level 2 box, which is pretty cool. I don't know why we wouldn't have gotten some sort of like cheaper blade, maybe like a, I don't know, a SOG or Kershaw or something, but it is what it is, not really complaining. Let's go ahead and throw this out of the way. To recap, we've got our survival radio, our UCO match kit, stormproof match kit, survival playing cards, survival frog, grenade, the pack light luminade, and the frontier straw by Aquamarina. So, there we go guys. That's this month's Barrel and Blade. Like, comment, subscribe, share, 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 share this out. You guys, I still got that giveaway going on. I'm still trying to network a little bit on my free time. Let's, uh, you know, let's get this thing going, guys. Tell your friends, share it on your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. All right, that's all I got for you. Joe Fish out.